Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another Ghost of Tsushima video. So in this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you every build that I use for what armors that I use in the story mode of Ghost of Tsushima. And I'm not trying to claim that these are the best builds. I'm not trying to claim that these are the best charms. So before y'all try to come for my throw, instead, maybe kind of give me some hints and pointers on what kind of charms you use or what builds you like to use in the comments below. This video is specifically for the people that might not have known that you could have different armor sets for every single armor along with charms and sword kits and outfits and a saddle like there's so much you can do so i just want to you know help out people that might not have seen it so i will be showing you guys everything that i use in the story mission i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do please be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're not already subscribed if not it's all good we love y'all anyway hope you guys enjoy let's get to the video all right guys what is going on and welcome the way i'm gonna do this guys i'm just gonna kind of go down the list of the armors and the armor sets and stuff that i use but first things first i want to show you guys here in the options menu how exactly you can activate so if you look at my armors you can activate having a different setup for each one so you'll be able to change your loadout however you want so all you have to do is go into options go under gameplay and right here where it says armor loadouts you just have to turn it on now before you do this i do want to suggest one thing write down whatever charms that you're using because once you turn it on it will only put those charms on one armor loadout the one that you're wearing so if you want to copy paste it essentially to put it on other armor loadouts you're not going to be able to do that you have to do it manually so you don't have to keep going back and forth i just suggest that you write them down so after you go ahead and you enable these armor loadouts there's actually a lot of different ways you can do it so the armor loadout does actually include what sword kit you have it includes what outfit you have and what accessory you're using aka what saddle you're using on your horse so whether you're using the normal saddle or whether you're using the sakai horse saddle from iki island it does change for each loadout so if i were to have the black armor on this armor loadout and i didn't have it equipped for the next one when i changed it it would change too so it's actually really cool because you could have all kind of different customized you could color match your outfits with your horse and all kind of stuff all right so let's get into the outfits that i'm using so the ones that have no charms i don't use them so i will only be going over the ones that i use that i think are viable for myself when it comes to tedaori's armor essentially it is the exact same as archery master's attire if you do have this one which archery master's attire is acquired from new game plus and the tedaori armor is actually acquired through a mythic tale that you'll find on tsushima As for the katana undying rage you actually can't get this unless you go into iki island and unlock the crimson dye merchant which i made a video of that so if you guys are interested in how to unlock the crimson dye merchant that video will definitely help you the archery master attire is actually a fully maxed out version of tedeori's armor i don't have tedeori's armors maxed out so i mainly use the mastery attire but i know i know a lot of people might not have that so for tedeori's armor so what you want to do honestly is you want to kind of try to tailor your charms to what the armor is doing so increase knocking speed knocking and reload speed by 30 percent increases total concentration by two seconds and restore 50 percent of concentration meter on headshots you kind of want to you kind of want to take that stuff into account when you're actually thinking of the specific charms that you want to put on your character so for that i have the charm of amaterasu which killing enemies restores a moderate amount of health i have the charm of izanai which landing a headshot has a 40% chance to return arrow because this specific skin does encourage you to get headshots because you do refill your concentration faster. So you kind of want to make it to where it synergizes with what the actual skin does. Charm of efficiency, 15% increase to knocking speed and reload. Charm of precision, moderate increase to arrow damage. Charm of terrifying aim, which you do actually get this on Iki Island. When you kill an enemy with a headshot, there's a 30% chance of terrifying an enemy nearby.
And lastly, the charm of concentration, which increases your concentration by 2.4 seconds, which you also get this by completing the archery challenges that are found on Iki Island. And every archery challenge that you find has a potential of increasing the time. And every time you complete one of the challenges, you increase the time that your concentration is up by a certain amount. And I also made a video on that. So if you're interested in completing the archery challenges to get that concentration charm up, then you will want to check that video out. Now it's important to know that these charms do stack so if you want to put two charms of efficiency you can put two charms of efficiency and they do stack on top of each other it's actually kind of op if you think about it so there's some crazy builds that can really be made so gosaku's armor is a very good option until you get sarugami armor for dueling i really love this armor for dueling specifically because of the massive increase to health obviously but mainly the major increase to stagger damage killing a staggered enemy restores 20 percent health that's also good for when you're out in the world just dominating so as for the charms, I'm using Charm of Mizu no Kami. Parries, perfect parries and perfect dodges are easier to perform. I'm using Charm of Shinats Suiko. I think that's how you say it. Staggering enemy prevents interrupted melee attacks for six seconds. This is actually so good. Anytime you stagger, you can literally just wail on them for the next six seconds and they can't stop you from attacking. It's come in handy so many times, not only in duels, but like just being out in the world and getting parries is amazing. Charm of Ferocity moderate increase to melee damage charm of bludgeoning moderate increase to stagger damage charm of aniri's might increases health and melee damage by a massive amount charm of resistance reduces all damage by a major amount so i like having a mixture of attack attack charms along with some defensive charms because i know as a swordsman and you're going in there and you're fighting you will be taking a lot of damage because you know it's super easy to miss dodges and attacks especially if they're coming from an angle that you can't see so i like to have some little mix of defense in there and by the way gosaku's armor is actually found on a mythic tail so you will have to do some work for this armor specifically if you're just getting into ghost of tsushima there are a few camps and places that need to be liberated in order for you to get a certain key once you get enough keys you will be able to go and find gosaku's armor unlock it and pick it up it's actually beautiful insane and it looks so good and you can buy a bunch of dyes for it as for the ocean of blood mass that you see right here this is actually a new game plus item that you can get from baku the voiceless now the next armor that i use guys is the kensi armor i actually really love this armor set like a lot a lot as for the outfit itself the yarnum helm and the yarnum vestments uh you do get this from iki island as well there's a shrine that you go to and there's specific things that you have to do in order to unlock it you actually unlock this one and those other skins that you've seen from legend the playstation exclusive skins so if you are interested in that i made a video on how to find every shrine and how to complete each objective that the shrine is kind of like a little puzzle so it's really cool so for this specific outfit massive increase to resolve gains ghost weapons deal 40 percent more damage striking an enemy with a ghost weapon causes the enemy to deal 50 percent less damage and receive 50 percent more damage all right so for this specific outfit i am using the charm of amaterasu killing enemy restores a modern amount of health for the second main charm i am using a utility charm it doubles the effect of minor charms if it is the only minor charm of the same category equipped so i think what it's saying is that it doesn't double up on the stats if you have stacked charms on your character so you have one of each this works perfectly so the first one i have here is charm of advantage so ghost weapons deal 20 percent more damage this specific outfit as you guys saw is basically centered around ghost weapons and all that crazy stuff charm of resistance you know you want to have a little defense reduces all damage by a major amount charm of Veneri's Might. It helps you increase a lot of health, by the way. So I really like this one. Increases health and melee damage by a massive amount. And Charm of Resolve, 25% uh, increase to resolve gains. All right, as for my ghost armor, guys, and many of you might actually be wondering about this. By the way, I just got this outfit last night i finally completed new game plus that's how you get this outfit by the way you complete the game you can either get the black outfit or the white one also there is a transcendent outfit that you get for 100 completing the game this one right here but yeah so you have a choice to make at the end of the game and depending on what choice you do make you get the outfit whether you do or whether you don't i don't want to spoil anything so uh yeah when you get to that point you can ask me the question all right anyways as for my ghost armor guys the main charms that i 
I am using are the charm of Sukuyomi, which assassinated enemies drop additional ammo, just like a little, you know, extra for when you're in the fight. Charm of Nakoma's Hunt. This is absolutely insane, guys. This charm you get on Iki Island and you get it by completing the cat sanctuaries where you're petting the cats and stuff like that. Um, Oh my God, this thing's actually insane. With the blessing of the feline Kami, throw Kunai at a target during chain assassinations to extend your range. So with every cat sanctuary that you go through, it increases the range that you can throw your kunai. It's absolutely insane and it helps so much. You can clear an entire wave with just one chain assassination plus a kunai. You can kill up to four people. It's crazy. Charm of Ferocity is the next one that I'm using. Moderate increase to melee damage. Charm of Veneri's Might increases health and melee damage by a massive amount. Charm of Silence reduces enemy detection speed by 15% and increases resolve gains by a massive Massive amount and reduces enemy detection speed by 10% for the charm of shadows. If you look at the outfit, guys, reduces enemy detection speed by 50%. So having more reduction is even better. So when you're coming out of the grass or you know, when you're chain assassinating and somebody's like looking at you do it, that meter fills up so slow you can almost just dip out or kill them before they even detect and notify everyone around them. It's insane. Reduces the number of kills for ghost stance by two, and kills have a 40% chance to terrify. A nearby enemy this is obviously my go-to outfit for anything stealth in the game any mission that you have that requires you to be silent if you're not using this you're already messing up all right as for the next outfit guys this is probably one of your most important outfits you can have in this entire game anytime you're not fighting anytime you're not like dueling or doing anything on a mission you should be wearing your traveler's attire now it is all the way maxed out what this does guys is it helps track artifacts obviously so when when you're close to artifacts the higher you upgrade the the further the range but the closer you get to artifact your controller begins to vibrate and that will help you find the artifacts along with the visual cues in the game obviously like the birds or the fireflies which by the way lead you to things i didn't figure that out until recently also traveling clears 60 percent more of the fog of war on the map so this is important because the further out from your actual character the fog gets cleared on the map the more chance you have of finding stuff just from running around whether it's sanctuaries whether it's shrines whether you're looking for you know hot springs or haikus or bamboo strikes whatever it may be this is important to have if you like to just run around and find stuff so always make sure you switch to your traveler's attire by the way the the raiders regalia is actually found in iki island as well it is found right here at cloud forest temple when i noticed that it was available i completed all the tales on iki i don't know if that's what you need to do in order to get this outfit however that's when i found out that it was available from that specific merchant as for the hat that i am wearing guys sugi skasa hat this is also from one of the stories that you run into on iki island so if you're interested then um definitely play iki island through and you'll you'll unlock this just from the story and obviously my thieves wrap so this is my little outfit i came up with i think it's really cool so the charms that i'm using on this guys is the charm of amaterasu of course killing enemies stores a moderate amount of health just in case you're wearing this when you end up having to kill somebody charm of veneri which is so important when you're running around because this increases the supplies predator hides bamboo and you would gain from collecting which is insane you'll pick up supplies it'll proc that you picked up let's say seven supplies and then two seconds later five more supplies will be added to your inventory this basically almost doubles everything that you get so make sure that you're wearing this anytime you're looting a fort or or anytime you're looting basically anything unfortunately it doesn't work for flowers but i love this charm it's so important on this actual build charmer ferocity is the next one moderate increase to melee damage charmer resistance reduces all damage by a major amount charm of veneri's might increases health and melee damage by a massive amount charm of carnage all combat is much bloodier so this stuff right here these are just like random stuff the bloody one's kind of fun in case you just want to fight it out but i think aneri is so important when you're actually traveling the world and looting stuff because you get so much supplies like you're just missing out if you don't already use this when you're looting as for the archery master attire which essentially is the maxed out version of tedeori i'm using the exact same charms as tedeori and the very last outfit guys if you guys don't already have this i made a video on where and how to get sarugami armor the strongest armor in the entire game this armor is unmatched by any other armor and i will tell you 
guys why <laughs> first of all regular parries are disabled perfect parries become a chain of three attacks and perfect dodge also damages nearby enemies so when you perfect parry you have the option to hit the enemy three times after the perfect parry and if you kill the enemy after one hit or even two hits that last hit or two you can redirect to a different character to a different enemy that is like actually a really good distance away it's almost like using the dance of wrath with every single perfect parry that you do it's actually insane and it's so 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 strong and as for the perfect dodge when you do dodge guys you actually do a spinning attack that does aoe damage at a pretty good radius around your character that is probably the strongest thing that you will ever find on any outfit it's actually crazy all resolve gains are increased by a major amount which it just goes up the higher that you upgrade this armor so massive amount colossal amount like it's just it's so crazy guys and it blinds the enemies at rank four so it blinds them after you do a perfect dodge and then you get the colossal amount and massive for the for the, uh, it's just crazy this is insane the last one is perfect parry and perfect dodge windows are increased by a major amount so i'm reading all these because it's very important the way i have this built because it just synergizes so perfectly with all of these things so if you go to the charm guys charm of mashita's protection and i believe you get this by petting the deer if i'm not mistaken for the deer sanctuaries on iki island whenever you heal using obviously your down arrow your perfect parry and perfect dodge windows are extended for a limited time now that increases with each sanctuary that you go to so it's maxed out right now at 12 seconds so for 12 seconds my perfect parry windows and my perfect dodge windows are increased by a limited amount which is still really really good but healing does cost an additional one resolve so it's two resolve for each heal that you do remember that but this is you know it plays into the perfect parries and basically what this specific outfit is leading you to do now charm of mizu no kami perfect parries perfect dodge windows and parries are easier to perform like that is an absolute no-brainer charm of ferocity moderate increase to melee damage charm of bludgeoning moderate increase to stagger damage charm of dual destruction attacks have a 10 percent chance to deal double damage which when you're perfect parrying and dodging that's literally free attacks right there and with that you have a chance to do double damage it's so absolutely insane and as for a little bit of defense it reduces all damage by a major amount for the charm of resist like i said guys this outfit um i made a video on how to do it essentially there is a mythic quest on iki island called the tale of black hand riku and it will basically take you all the way through this amazing tale and at the end you'll be able to recover this armor set which after you complete iki you can go to the black and white dye merchants and buy yourself the black version which is beautiful and the white version as well definitely my favorite armor set in the game but anyways guys those are all the loadouts that i use on ghost of tsushima i know this was a very in-depth video i hope this helps you guys if you guys have any questions on anything that i went over feel free to let me know in the comments below and also feel free to let me know if you guys have a better build than i do throw it in the comments and help out the community who are interested in figuring out what to use around tsushima island anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're not already subscribed if not it's all good love y'all anyway i hope to catch you guys on the next video much love peace